Hi everyone! Welcome to this tutorial where I'll be taking you through how to create layered shaders like these in Maya 2017 using the inbuilt Arnold renderer. This technique can also be used in previous versions of Maya with Mental Ray, just using a different material, but we'll cover that as we go along. So I'm going to talk through how to set up this layered shader first. So I'm going to delete this and set up a sphere in our scene. So I'm creating a polycube and smoothing it out just to two divisions, then turning on Smooth Mesh Preview. If you're using 2017 with Arnold, there is something you need to do before you can see any transparency on your object. In the Attribute Editor, under the Arnold tab, we need to uncheck the Opaque setting. Now that is set up, go up to the Hypershade. So in the Arnold menu, I'm going to search for the AI Standard Material. And I'm going to click it twice to get two materials on the right here. I don't know why I'm so far away, so I'm just going to arrange this a bit. If you're working in Mental Ray, then just put two blends into your scene. I'm going to call one material outer and the other inner and change the colour of both materials to anything different now while I set this up. So this took me a bit of searching to find out, but to work with transparency in this AI standard material, you need to open up the refraction settings and it is the opacity we'll be working with, the opposite of transparency, just to be awkward. If you're using the mental ray version of Maya, then you can go into your material settings for your blin and the transparency setting is the second option on the list, not hidden away like it is here. Here we want to plug in a ramp. and delete this guy. You can see the ramp is working on the opacity here, but not in the direction that we want. To fix this, we need to add a sampler info node, which can be found under the Maya menu. This is a bit that's been frustrating me. What we want to do is plug the facing ratio into the V. I may be playing with the nodes wrong, please tell me if I am and correct me. But this way does not work for me. So go up to Window, General Editor and open the Connection Editor. Click on the Sampler Info and click Reload Left and click on the Ramp and click Reload Right. Then click Facing Ratio and open up the UV and click on V. Now you can see that our material has a nice soft transparent edge. This can be adjusted with the Ramp settings. We are going to do the same for the outer material. We need to flip this ramp. Now you can see that the centre of this material is transparent. Next step, we go to the Maya menu and get a layered shader. Middle mouse drag both of the materials into the attributes and delete the green box. Now we can assign this layered shader to our object. You can play around with this material all you like. If you do not see the material like this, and you maybe see a black ring around your inner material, you probably haven't unchecked the opaque option in the object's attributes in the Arnold settings. So what I would use this material for is maybe to give the impression of a basic cell. Giving the soft halo around the inner material can give the illusion that it's a nucleus suspended in liquid.
this is an alternative to having a very pretty cell made out of two pieces of geometry and having a lot of refraction settings on the outer material. Although this looks really nice, sometimes it can be quite expensive in terms of the computer power. If you're wanting to put the cell into, say, a particle system or something, it's going to really eat up a lot of your computer's RAM and memory, so this is an alternative for that. If you want a great tutorial for a pretty cell in Mental Ray, then I recommend you check out Annie Campbell's tutorial, and I'll put a link on the screen. On the outer material, we can apply a slight bump mat. I'm going to just choose regular noise for now, but I do like the AI noise as well. You may need to reload the Arnold renderer to see this. This is ugly. Play around with the settings for a while until you get a nice soft wave to the material. On the inner material, you might want to put a bit of specular onto your material. This helps to make it seem like there is another sphere within the outer one. This method can be used for any type of Fresnel effects. I'm going to turn off the specular and reflective options for this material. So this can give a cool effect as if it was a scan from a scanning electron microscope. The bump map can create some really cool effects with this. Here is a very quick example. I've set this up really quickly, and the bump map is in no way perfect, but it can give you an impression of the kind of things that you may be able to achieve using this layered shader. After looking at the reference, I think that I've got a bit too much contrast, so I'm going to adjust the ramp settings, and this includes adjusting the color. Well, I hope that was useful and gave you some ideas. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me across most forms of social media as well.